imagine that you're curled up in a ball, clutching the top of your head, trying so hard to breathe clearly. Your eyes overflow with tears. You try to calm down, but these voices in your head are all screaming at you at once. You're a horrible person. You're never going to do anything in life. No one even cares about you. They wouldn't care if you were dead. Your heart is beating so heavily that you can hear it reverberating in your ears. Thump. 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 You feel so numb everywhere, and yet you're still overflowing with emotion. Imagine laying awake at night, praying for the will to, to fall asleep, when everything, all the stress is eating at, is eating at your life. And once, once sleep finally comes, now you have to find the strength to get out of bed. Imagine eating smaller portions, skipping meals. Imagine eating everything you see, forcing yourself to throw up after every meal. You're tired. You're sad. You're scared. This, my friends, is depression. According to the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance, for every two homicides committed in the United States, there are three suicides. The World Health Organization has reported that, oh, that approximately 350 million people worldwide suffer from depression. Depression can be caused by death of a loved one. It can be caused by stress, bullying. It can be caused by so many other reasons. It can be caused by mental illness. Now, I would like you to put a look at the person next to you. That person has been through hard times. They might just be going through a hard time right now. Depression is scary for both the person suffering from it and the friends and loved ones of that person. People affected by depression are often afraid to find help because of judgment or shame. This causes them to feel very alone, even when they are surrounded by people they love. This, and this makes it very hard for them to find help. I should know. This situation that I have explained, that was my life back in early 2017. Yes, I have been in this place. I have made decisions in the past that I really do regret. A while back, a friend of mine got mad at me, and I was struggling to forgive myself. I eventually took up the courage to find help, but still not a lot had changed. I had learned a very hard lesson in a very hard way. You can't change the past, no matter how hard you try. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't go back. I couldn't change what I did. I couldn't change what I said. And more than anything else, I couldn't make that person forgive me. Eventually, I decided to hide. I created an Instagram account where I posted about music. I wanted to talk to this old friend again, but it never worked. Despite all of these reasons that I had to let go, despite all of these reasons that I had to give up, I decided to keep going. How, might you ask? I'm going to let you in on a, little, on a little secret. I had faith in the future. I never got to talk to this old friend again. But instead, I met someone new. I didn't know him, he didn't know me. He started talking to me one day randomly about music. It just started with that one conversation. Eventually, we started talking, and we became friends. As time went on, this person encouraged me to pick up the guitar. Music is my passion. For as long as I can remember, I have wanted to become a musician. And guitar was a dream that I have had since I was so little that I had given up on because I thought it would be impossible, that I didn't have the talent, that it would be too difficult. And now, because I am having the most fun that I've ever had in a really long time. And my self-esteem has improved so much because I am now able to see that I have accomplished something that I thought would be impossible. Looking back, it did hurt. It hurt a lot. But if I hadn't gone through that, if I hadn't been through those hard times, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have met the people that I now know and love. And I wouldn't have learned what I now know. And because I have gone through, this, through these things, I am now able to stand up here and reach out to someone in this audience who may be calling out for help. 
I would like to share with you all how you may help yourself or how you may help a friend that is struggling with depression. No matter what you think, no matter what you feel, you are not alone. Get help, whether that be from a therapist, a parent, a friend, a family member, a sibling, a trusted adult, a teacher, a counselor, anyone that you can trust, get help. You are not alone and neither can you do this alone. It is so hard finding help. It is so hard asking for help. But trust me, if you talk about it, you will feel so much better than if you keep these feelings inside and let them bubble up and get worse. Get a passion. It could be anything. Music, art, cooking, taking care of animals, volunteering. It could be crafting, sewing, taking care of animals, talking to your friends, going to the movies. It doesn't matter. Something that makes you feel happy and that relieves stress. Life doesn't always work out the way you want it to, but passions can not only help you feel better when you're, when you're stressed or feeling down, but they give you a reason to stay when you have virtually nothing left. Life isn't going to be easy after this. If you think I stand up here free from sorrow, think again. I still have those days when I want to give up. I still have those days when I feel the lowest I've ever been. But life is made up of valleys that always lead to peaks again. Pick up the pieces that you worked so hard to craft together and keep going. Because even if you can't see it right now, everything happens for a reason and you're going to come out of this stronger than ever. There are billions of people in this world. You may still believe that you don't matter. But because there are so many people in this world, that's just more motivation that you need to make something out of this small life that you have. In Shane Cozane's famous poem, To This Day, he states, if you can't see something good inside yourself, get a better mirror, look a little closer, stare a little longer, because there's something inside of you, despite everyone who told you to quit, that made you keep going, despite everyone who told you to quit. You need to believe that anyone who hurt you in the past was wrong. You need to believe that these things that you're telling yourself are wrong. Look around. Look at, look at your friends. Look at your family. Look at your teachers. Look at the person next to you. Look at me. You are not alone because I care about you. I care about you. And I care about you. Even if you don't know it yet, even if you feel that everyone has turned your back on you, there is always someone in this world who cares about you, even if you don't know them yet. Life is always going to have its hard times. It may be so hard to find a reason to stay when your world seems to be raining around you, but have faith that after the storm has passed, that a rainbow will always be there afterwards to brighten up the sky. Life is beautiful. If you walk away today and remember nothing I have said, I would like to leave you with this final statement of fact. You are beautiful. You are important. You are valuable. You matter. Thank you.